The greatest love story ever told, written for you. Did you know there's one Bible verse that perfectly sums up God's love for the world? John 3.16 is one of the most powerful verses in the Bible. Today, we'll explore it in five different versions, uncovering fresh meaning with each one. Did you know that this one Bible verse perfectly sums up God's love for the world? John 3.16 King James Version For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. In this verse, we see God's immeasurable love demonstrated through the ultimate act of sacrifice, the giving of his only Son for the world. His gift is available to everyone, and by placing our trust in Jesus, we receive both a rescue from destruction and a life filled with his eternal presence. It's not just about a future hope, but a transformed life that begins the moment we believe. John 3.16, God's Word Translation. God loved the world this way. He gave His only Son so that everyone who believes in Him will not die, but will have eternal life. This version emphasizes the action of God's love. He didn't just say He loved the world. He showed it in a concrete way by giving His only Son. The invitation is for everyone, and believing in Jesus' offers not just rescue from death, but the gift of a transformed, eternal life starting now. It's a reminder that God's love is active, personal, and available to all. John 3.16, New International Version. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. In the New International Version, John 3.16 highlights God's overwhelming love for the world, demonstrated through the gift of his one and only Son, Jesus. The verse underscores the sacrificial nature of God's love and the inclusive invitation to all people to believe in Jesus. Those who place their trust in Him are rescued from eternal separation from God and given the gift of eternal life, a life not just in the future, but one that starts now with a relationship with God. John 3.16, Amplified Bible. For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world, that he even gave his one and only begotten Son, so that whoever believes and trusts in him as Savior shall not perish, but have eternal life. The Amplified Bible brings out the depth and tenderness of God's love for the world, showing that he not only loved, but treasured the world. His love is so great that he was willing to give his one-of-a-kind Son as a sacrifice. The invitation is to believe and trust in Jesus, which leads not only to escaping destruction, but to enjoying a rich, eternal life in relationship with God. This version invites us to see faith as more than belief. It's about trusting and relying on Jesus as our Savior. John 3, 16-18, The Message Bible. This is how much God loved the world. He gave His Son, His one and only Son. And this is why, so that no one need be destroyed by believing in Him anyone can have a whole and lasting life. God didn't go to all the trouble of sending his son merely to point an accusing finger, telling the world how bad it was. He came to help, to put the world right again. Anyone who trusts in him is acquitted. Anyone who refuses to trust him has long since been under the death sentence without knowing it. And why? Because of that person's failure to believe in the one-of-a-kind Son of God when introduced to him. The Message Bible frames John 3, 16 to 18 as an intensely personal story of God's love. It emphasizes that God's purpose in sending Jesus was not to condemn the world, but to rescue, heal, and restore it. The focus is on God's active involvement in fixing the brokenness of the world and giving people a chance at a whole and lasting life. Those who trust in Jesus are acquitted, freed from guilt and death while those who don't are already experiencing spiritual separation, unaware of their true need for Jesus. This version invites readers to see God as a loving Father who is working to put things right, and it encourages a personal response of trust in Jesus. Jesus is alive, He has risen, and He went to the cross for you. Out of love for you, He conquered death so that you could live free and forgiven. Seek the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are waiting for you. Jesus' love is alive and real. Come to him today.